What if there was a way to transport yourself back to the time when dinosaurs roamed the Earth? No, I'm not speaking of Jurassic Park, but Dinosaur Park in Ogden. The park first opened in 1993 and just celebrated its 20th anniversary this year in 2013. After paying a $7 entrance fee, the park is yours to discover and explore. The park features over a hundred full-size representations of what these magnificent ancient creatures might have looked like, and they are scattered throughout the park in the type of environments they may have lived in. Many of these statues are highly detailed and show the wide range of species of these creatures, ranging from big to small to herbivores to carnivores to land dwellers and finally to sea dwellers. In addition to statue displays, the park also features fossils such as this small cave housing an allosaurus skeleton. Dinosaur Park also showcases the more violent and brutal side to these creatures by depicting confrontations such as a patasaurus defending its young against an allosaurus, or this iguanodon defending against a pack of raptors. Also included is a duck and fish pond where visitors can sit and relax and observe still living wildlife, such as this iguana who will soon be part of a new living dinosaur exhibit opening fall 2013. There are also hidden trails such as the Mystery Trail which leads to other discoveries. The things to see on these trails include sites such as this small dinosaur with a triceratops skull, or this myosaurus watching its eggs. But what about flying dinosaurs? Well, there are plenty of those too, such as this pteranodon that shows a mother feeding her baby. The pteranodon display also has a bit of interactivity to it too, where visitors can dig for gold. Among the more obscure dinosaurs shown is the Gigantosaurus, which was twice the size of Tyrannosaurus rex. Next to Gigantosaurus is Amargosaurus, which is a newly discovered dinosaur. It has a huge double fin on its back, which is unknown at this time what its use was. On certain days or certain times of day, there's also dino digs that go on for children. The park is not the only place to visit, though. Also, the Elizabeth D. Shaw Stewart Museum, which is more of a traditional museum as opposed to the displays in the park, but it's all included in a mission. While nowhere near as big as the park itself outside, it still has lots of things to discover, see, and explore. Inside, the museum also features not just dinosaurs, but early mammals such as mammoths. Allosaurus also makes a reappearance as evidenced by this growth chart. As well as this full-size Allosaurus skeleton as like in the cave before. The museum also features underwater fossils like this fish. It also features other fully assembled skeletons such as T-Rex. It also has models too like this pterodactyl. Or is this odd-looking dinosaur known as Hygriffus, or Giganteus, as it's sometimes called? These are a few examples of the kind of fish that lived back then. And for people who are curious about the history of paleontology, there's a display for that too. Upstairs in the museum, there's lots of prehistoric rocks and other types of fossils. Also inside, there's a paleontology lab where visitors can watch real-life paleontologists learn and work about what goes into examining fossils. For the kids, there's also an indoor dig site, just like there's the one outside. Behind glass are real-life ancient skulls, jaws, claws, teeth, and other kinds of ancient prehistoric body parts. But perhaps one of the most unique displays that this museum has is the animatronics. This animatronic display features a triceratops and a T-Rex in a confrontation. Utah has a rich history of once being home to many dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures. The George S. Eccles Dinosaur Park and Museum seeks to bring what they may have been like to life. So, if you've got an interest in dinosaurs, rocks, fossils, or natural history or science, then Dinosaur Park may be just the right place for you. It's worth a visit.